Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share spring 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe. Now you will know how much I love putting together these videos, not only because I love to be able to challenge myself to do a lot with very little, but also because it inspires me to mix and match my items in a way that I might not have thought of previously. So I end up getting loads of outfit ideas and inspiration just from doing these. Now obviously I'm doing this video for my friends in the Northern Hemisphere. So if you're in the Southern Hemisphere like me, let me know if you want to see an autumn or an autumn winter edition as well maybe one that's transitioning from autumn to winter so I want to just dive straight into it uh, before I do everything that I mentioned today will be linked down in the description box below along with what I'm wearing so I'm sure I'm going to get questions on this top seeing as it is a very jazzy number but I'm just going to run you through all the items and uh, you will see that there's a very common theme here and one thing I want to highlight is just the importance of having a very strong color palette when it comes to building any kind of capsule wardrobe because it will make your life so much easier. I think that capsule wardrobes tend to be known for being black, white and grey with a bit of denim thrown in there but that's definitely not how you need to play it. You don't have to play it that safe, you can go really bold with color. I've gone for a very earthy, natural but mixed in with a few creamy sort of tones as well for mine. and. I I find that it works really well. Essentially the way I build it is if I got dressed in the dark could I put everything together as an outfit and still feel and look good in what I was wearing? And the answer I think, especially with this capsule, is 100% yes. I believe I've done a video talking about how to build one of these 10 by 10 capsules, so I'm gonna link that up in the cards if you'd like to go have a watch. But yeah, I'm gonna talk you through all the pieces, sorry. I'm such a chatty Cathy. And then I am going to share with you all of the outfits that I put together with them. I think for the cutaways, I filmed around 12 or 13 outfits, but there's definitely more looks that I didn't actually record. So let's talk through the tops and I've got four tops here. The first one being this little silky cami from Everlane. This is the picnic silk tank I believe it's called and I really really like this. I talked about it in a new in video which was a partnership with the brand, but I just think it's very sweet. It has adjustable, I've got the black one too, as you can see, it's got adjustable straps with the button. So it's great because if you are petite or tall, it will work for you. And then it has this button back detail, which leaves this almost uh, slinky open section at the back, which I, I like. And I think it makes it feel a little bit more interesting, slightly cropped. So ideally one that you would wear loose, but it is long enough to tuck into things that are high waisted as well. The second item that I have here is a cotton blouse and actually this just reminds me of another common thread throughout all of these pieces is that they are all natural fibers. Especially as it starts to heat up, I like to wear things that are really breathable. So this is cotton, the tank is silk, we've got another cotton top, linen, cotton, cotton linen, denim and then cashmere for a little bit of warmth. So uh, there's that trend there in terms of what I've picked out which I think is very uh, comfortable to wear especially when the weather is very transitional. So this top here is from Cezanne and I featured this in a video where I did a review on the brand. I'm going to link that in the cards and I was really drawn to all the adornment or embellishment with the ruffles over this blouse. I thought it was very special and the print being this very kind of ditzy floral but in this more autumn harvest color palette really drew me in. I'm really enjoying these types of colors and I feel like they work well with my complexion as well. Uh, one that I find probably works better when I've got my hair pulled back, but I tend to wear it down most of the time, especially as I'm growing out these uh, post-pregnancy bangs. I find that wearing my hair down just suits me a little bit better. But this one I think is really pretty and adds a nice playful element to this spring capsule that I've put together and is just a little bit more fun and bold, I suppose, in a way than the other items that I've gone for. I tend to play it quite safe with these just because I want to include items that I feel like are gonna be really versatile and generally block color items tend to be, but not always. And you'll see that in the outfits that I put together with this blouse and how uh, actually how versatile something like that can be. My next top that I went with is another shirt and hopefully it's not gonna be too worn out. This is from Madewell. I've had this for 
six years. It's held up incredibly well. It is the Korea shirt. I recommend this time and time again. I really don't think you can go wrong. It's very oversized and almost had, it's got a drop shoulder to it as well. So keep that in mind. Mine's an extra small. But it's a really, really lovely cotton, which feels, I, I think it feels exactly the same as when I bought it. And I've, I've laundered this so many times. I've gotten stains on it. I've soaked it. It's come out looking like new. So love that. Love the uh, pockets on uh, both sides as well. Just a really easy throw on one and you can also roll up the cuffs too if you want a slightly different look. And then the final top that I included was this very, very lovely muted green linen top or khaki linen top from Mal. I bought this a couple of months ago and have been loving it because it's just added so much depth to my outfits because previously I was wearing a lot of black, white and grey or I was starting to introduce some warmer neutrals but this has just really helped me to uh, I think explore more my color palette and uh, just experiment and I love that. So this is 100% linen and you can probably see there are some slight creases to it. It's got that very lived in feel and I love that about linen. It's not going to be for everyone and it does mean that you need to have an iron or a really good steamer in order to steam it once it's come out of the wash because it is going to be quite creased. It has a really pretty little mother of pearl button on the back as well and the thing I like about this so it's got these puff sleeves which are I suppose an on-trend detail but it makes a simple uh, blouse like this feel Feel more interesting is that it comes with this belt and there aren't actually any belt loops on the sides so the thing I like about that is it means that you can either wear it worn loose and you don't have anything obstructing that nice clean silhouette down the sides of the top you can tuck it in without any belt loops sort of peeking out but then you can belt it if you want to create a peplum effect and you will see this in the outfits at the end I just think this is so fun and I like the fact that there are three different ways that you can wear it and I just get so much joy out of that now I chose three bottoms so I went with a trouser a short and a skirt option so the trousers I went for are in this beautiful dark forest green and hopefully it's translating well on camera I think it is these are from our kit and I also have them in the navy they're a cropped trouser they come at a really good length on me and I really like the fit uh, I actually originally purchased them in the 36 but they felt a little bit on the large side so I sized down to a 34 and these fit me perfectly I would say the 34 is like a small size 8 um, AU8 and they have these little pull tabs on the sides so that you can actually adjust the fit and make them a little bit tighter if you need to but just a really beautiful cotton chino and they're really really easy to wear actually uh, despite it being a wider leg for me I've, I've always kind of found the, those wider leg pants a little bit more challenging to style than uh, skinny jeans or skinny pants that sort of thing because I've worn skinny jeans since I was 12 I think 11 or 12 and I'm now in my early 30s so over two decades of knowing how to wear a skinny jean whereas a straight leg is one I've introduced in recent years but really very 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 easy to pair with pretty much everything <laughs> then the shorts option are these cotton linen ones from among I've talked about these a few times I actually was gifted the navy pair uh, two or three years ago from W concept and I adored them so much that I decided to buy them in two more colors myself so this is the sort of off-white or oat colored pair it has this really lovely herringbone uh, imprint on the fabric which gives it so much depth and it adds this really lovely texture also love the button uh, they're high-waisted and they're fitted at the waist but then they have a sort of a relaxed loose fit through the leg very very easy to wear again just go with everything and then the skirt that I picked is an oldie but a goodie if you've been following me for a long time you'll be very familiar with this one it is my J Crew denim skirt with the raw edged hem I still absolutely love this it still fits me amazingly uh, the sizing on it was incredibly generous because it's a 23 and I'm a 26 in jeans so uh, definitely a larger fit uh, and I have a feeling J Crew still make this I don't know whether the sizing on it has changed though so maybe uh, I would do some research on that if they do still have it but just such an easy little throw on piece and I like the fact that it's more a-line then as I mentioned earlier I have a knitwear piece and this one is from Bowden. I've been talking about this a lot recently I think just because it's kind of been one of my favorite purchases for the autumn winter season as it's something that I see myself wearing for I would say 
75% of the year. Summer's probably the only time I wouldn't reach for something like this. Uh, really lovely little cashmere cardigan. I sized up to a large because I wanted it to be a relaxed fit on me and I wanted to be able to button it up without it being tight around my hips at all. And I get that perfect fit from the large. Uh, it has these really nice contrasting tortoiseshell buttons as well down the front pockets. Uh, this is a great one because it can be worn buttoned up and tucked into things or worn loose. Items 9 and 10 were both shoes. So first up we've got a pair of slip-on mules. These are a fantastic dupe for the YSL Tribute slides however they've got a low block heel which I actually like and I found myself reaching for these just as much as my YFL slides because they're so easy to wear they're so comfortable uh, they're actually synthetic leather as well but I just think they're very chic and I do love a low block heel just to give a bit of extra height for me a slip-on sandal during the warm months is one of my essentials it's a huge part of my style uniform so really easy one and these are the type of shoe that do go with everything. And then because spring can be unpredictable, I also wanted to go with more of a closed toe shoe, although these do have an open back. These are my Benelli two-tone pumps, which are looking a little bit worse for wear, but I'm still reaching for them. I'm gonna wear them until they're on their last legs, that's for sure. These are again a dupe for the Chanel two-tone pumps, however, much more affordable. Um, I purchased mine from Nordstrom, but they don't seem to sell them there anymore. So I think shoes.com and Zappos are probably your only places you can get them from unless you buy them from Vanelli Direct. Oh, I think they have them on Amazon too. I'll link all the places you can buy them down below, but I have had a few people based in Australia say they've had a bit of trouble trying to locate them from a uh, seller that ships here. But brilliant shoe again. Uh, these are really easy neutral and they do pair well with a lot of things. They're more of a cool tone I would say from the beige, but yeah, um, I like the little toe cap just think very very pretty in the outfits I did feature a bag now typically when I film these and when I'm doing one of these capsules in real time I wouldn't pick a bag as one of my 10 items one I want to have more styling options two I think being able to switch out your bag allows you to have more fun with the challenge but also allows you to mix up your outfits in a way and you can see the power of accessories by doing that but yeah, I just included the one bag because I thought it would be easier. And it was this little mango straw bag, which I've had for um, a year or a year and a half now. Again, a dupe for this one for the Lower Bay Basket bag, which as beautiful as it is, I do think it's quite expensive. I'm not sure if they have this exact one, but I will find some similar options for you and link them down in the description box. So those were the 10 pieces or 11 if you're counting the bag. Now let's get on to the outfits. <laughs>
but those were a bunch of the outfits that I came up with with this capsule. Obviously there are way more outfit combinations and if you switch the shoes or if you even switch in a different bag, you get an entirely different look, changing your makeup, changing your hair. Again, those have big impacts on the way that you dress as well. But I had so much fun putting this video together and I would love to know if you had a favorite piece or a favorite outfit as part of that little lookbook section at the end. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I think I mentioned this earlier, but everything that I did talk about today will be in the description box below along with my sizing information. Anyway, I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Enjoy the week ahead and see you soon. Bye.